All right, Keith, thanks a lot. Well, you can't see it, you probably can't smell it, but a natural gas leak can cause a fiery explosion. Thanks to the hard work of a special group of investigators, we can all breathe a little easier. WCBI's Paulo Salazar spent his day with a natural gas leak technician. Every workday, Ray Moore surveys the Atmos Energy System. He's searching for deficiencies, things like corrosion in the many miles of pipe or leaks that you can't see or smell. We're the first line of defense when it comes to um, maintenance issues. Instead of one large area, say the town of Starkville or the whole town of, of Columbus, which would take a long, probably a long time to do, um, just break it up into survey areas. Areas are surveyed annually, biannually, or as need basis. A breakthrough in technology has made the whole process more safe and efficient. You may or may not have seen them. They're gas leak technicians and they work for Atmos Energy to ensure our safety. They're using state-of-the-art equipment to search for gas leaks. We call it an RMLD. It's short for remote methane uh, detector. And basically it, it operates on a uh, using a, a laser for uh, gas detection purposes. The RMLD emits a high-pitched noise to detect methane, which is the key component in natural gas. Technicians can then pinpoint problems. You have certain pieces of equipment that you must have to do a gas leak investigation. Mm -hmm. On foot, you probably couldn't carry all, you know, everything that you need. Uh, the, the ATV, uh, you can put everything you need on it. The ATV is also state-of-the-art. These rubber tubes actually suck in air samples for testing. When problems turn up, technicians use a subsurface reader to figure out exactly how much gas is leaking and where. Leaks are then documented, reported, and repaired. Everything is done in the name of safety and better service. In Starkville, Paulo Salazar, WCBI News. Thank you, Paulo. Last week, the survey crew was in Columbus. This week, they're in Starkville. Next week, they will be in West Point. If you have a gas leak or think that you might have one, please contact the Atmos Energy Office.